Now, accessing the instance variables happens all the time. So Ruby provides a way to access the instance variables without actually writing the getters or setters method. So let me actually get rid of these and all of that can be replaced by the attribute accessor method which will enable you to define the getters or setters for your instance variables. So instance variables that we have here are gas and mile. With this line here, we've provided the setters and getters for the class. So if now you want to call the setters and getters, all you need to do is to call the name of the instance variable. So here, it's not necessary to call get gas. You can just write gas. Same here. Also for setters, you just do car dot gas in this example equals and then the value. Same for the mile. And this one, let's change this one too. And let's run that. So it works just fine. Now Ruby provides other types of accessor methods that you can use. So for example, if you want to just make the attribute readable, you would use the reader attribute method. And say you just want the gas value to be readable and you would want to make the mile instance variable writable. So now let's remove this that provides both reader and writer method. Now what we have is this. Gas is only readable and the other class cannot change its value but mile on the other hand is writable but it's not readable. So the value of mile can be changed when called by another class. And this is useful when you want to hide the properties of your class and you don't want other classes to have access to your data.